Hey everyone, this is Patrice with the Positivity Corner and I'm back with yet another video and I'm doing a series of onesies as it were. Uh, one artist, one song. Focusing on the 1980s. Ooh boy, this record right here. The band, of course, is Blondie with their iconic lead singer-songwriter, Deborah Harry. And, of course, the co-founder, Chris Stein. This is going to be a controversial choice for this channel. Why? Because I don't ordinarily play music like this. This is not a rock song or a pop song. This is hip-hop, folks. Yeah. Yeah hip hop straight up uh, Blondie of course was founded in the early to mid 70s I think about 1974 if I remember correctly um, they had their first big breakthrough in 1978 with the song Heart of Glass we're up to 1981 1981 the reason why I say this song is a bit controversial is because it was controversial upon its release people were like what the heck okay this was a commercial success as well as being controversial it sold a million copies If you know Blondie, you know what I'm talking about. The song is called Rapture. Yeah. And it's from the album Auto American. 1980. The song was released early the next year. The background on this was that Blondie were friends with hip hop artists in the late 90s, starting in the late 1970s, right? They um, went to rap events and Deborah Harry and Chris Stein based on what they saw, they decided to write a rap song. But they wanted to infuse it with disco. It was a sensation, but it was also criticized for a lot of reasons. Um... It's been sampled ad infinitum by everybody from um, KRS-One to Grandmaster Flash, Destiny's Child, the Jungle Brothers. I mean, everybody. Everybody has sampled this. It was a club classic as well. It really was. And um, it even hit the R&B chart, folks. I just want to say this. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit more at the end. But if you say that you love hip-hop music and you don't know this song, and I, I usually don't criticize people, but... I have seen people say, you know, they listen to the song, they go, if you say you love hip hop and you don't know this song, what are you listening to? That's all I got to say, because I don't even like hip hop like all of that. If you notice, I don't play it on this channel. And that's because I'm 
basically decades before it that I concentrate on, you know, 50s, 60s, 70s, whatever. I give props to hip hop for a lot of things. I probably like 30 to 40% of it. The rest of it I could do without. Even I know this song backwards, forwards, and sideways. And I think if you were in the clubs, even if you didn't like hip hop, you know this. You know it. That's all I got to say, man. I, I could just go on and on about this, but, you know, people's reactions just kind of floored me on this one. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. And it's not really a criticism. I'm just surprised that, you know, people who love hip hop don't know this. How could you not know this? Anyway, <laughs> I'm through with the ranting. This is from uh 1981 absolute classic club classic hip hop classic this is blondie and i'm going to play the album cut cuz i just want to hear it again <laughs> rapture Face to face, dance cheek to cheek, one to one, man to man, dance toe to 
of the TV's on. Now he's gone back from the space where he would have a happen with the human race. And you hip hop, and don't stop, just blast off. Sure shot, cause the man from Mars stopped eating cars and eating bars, and now he only eats guitars. Yeah! That's a dope song. That was one of the best songs that ever came out the 80s. As I stated before, I'm not a big hip hop fan. I don't make any, you know, pretensions about it. It's a lot of it I have a problem with. Now, this song made music history, folks. Not only did it sell a million copies, and, you know, gave Blondie cred with the R&B crowd and dance crowd. But it was the first song to include a rap on it to hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, which is why I made that statement. At the beginning, know your history, folks. 1981, Blondie. And that classic is called Rapture. As always, this is Patrice with the Positivity Corner. Please like, click, share, subscribe for further content. Push that button, y'all, and join the party. And I'll be back with another one from the 1980s.